Hello everyone, this is Maxim. Today we will work on Alfredo Piatti left hand exercises 1 through 7. Place the thumb without bending the knuckle at the back of the neck, making a right angle so that it comes opposite to the space between the first and the second finger. The fingers must be rounded so that the pressure is on the tips. Piatti is suggesting to turn the first finger to its right side, like this, which would represent the way many 19th century cellists would use left hand. Today, the most common position for the left hand is like that, with all the fingers touching the string with a dip. I prefer to keep fingers as close to the string as possible, even when you don't use them. This will ensure that when you need them, there is very short distance, and therefore you can play very fast without moving fingers too much. The very common mistake is to keep the fingers which are not in use in this position. That will prevent you from being able to play fast and with accurate intonation in the future. So once again, try to keep all fingers as close to the string as possible. The A string use the whole bow for each note. <laughs> fingers must be kept down while the open string is being played. Here Piatti is referring to the open D string, so keep all fingers down on the A string. string. the G string.
you noticed how important it was to keep fingers around. Otherwise, you would be touching the open string. The C string. Scale of C major. Exercise number two. Piatti's suggestion is that the second, third, and fourth fingers must be kept down while the open string is being played. Well, it might be a bit confusing because there are a number of exceptions from this rule. For instance, when you play the note on the string right before you need to play the open string, then obviously you will need to lift the finger. Notice that there are also many other exceptions from this rule, so be flexible with it. Exercise number three.
Exercise number four. Exercise number five. In this exercise, you will find it quite tricky to use the same finger on the way back when you have to move it from one string to another. For instance, is that I'm putting the finger a little bit closer to the next string. So when you have to move it, you don't have to move it too far. It's perfectly fine to use the very tip of your finger to play G, but then to move it to the G string, you'll have to lift it. Compared to that technique, when you Put the finger like this. And then you just roll it towards the next string. This is more advanced technique. Try it now, and if it feels too difficult, then Come back to it when you get more experience.
exercise number six. Exercise number seven. Thank you for watching, come back soon.